Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm Amber if you're new and if you're returning, welcome back. All right, this is gonna be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the month of February. I'm going to be focusing on the second house, um, which means I'm going to be focusing on the duality of the energies, um, the solidity, okay? Like, when I say solidity, like what type of structure or foundation the current energies are standing on um, and been base basically like the outcome of what type of structure the energy is going to be standing on. Um, second house is about assets, material, uh, possessions, that sort of thing. It's about our talents, our values, um, securities. Okay, our worthiness, it's also about aesthetics, so things that we see. Okay, so this, um, I feel like, lines right up with, um, it lines right up with Saturn moving into its home, okay, into Capricorn, Jupiter being placed in um, Sagittarius, okay, I think that is retrograding right now. Anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that. Um... But yeah, as far as the second house goes, definitely talking about money, the balance of money, the balance of worldly things, the balance of things that we see. All right, so that's what the second house is going to be about. Um, I did upload an announcement video, okay, just to cut down on the length of uh, this video. So for um, any updates on the channel, on personal readings, that sort of thing, um, to catch a discount, to catch a um, sale, or whatever the case may be for the month of February, I do have a very special, um, very special um, discount going. Okay, so go and check out that announcement video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if this resonates with you. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, thank you for being here. You all are welcome here. Thank you for allowing me to use my voice, okay, my gift to give messages to Aquarius for their highest good and their highest good only. All right, so let's see. What is the energy of uh, the partner, okay, for Aquarius? What's the energy of the partner or partners for Aquarius in the month of February, Spirit? What's the energy of the partner? Okay. You almost got two. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with one um, or more people. <clears throat> you have pay attention to the red flags, all right? The signs are cautioning you. The other card that kind of jumped out here, I don't, I'm going to put it back, but um, just for your own knowledge, you have healing family issues here, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. The external energy is passion, so I definitely would be very mindful that you could be in a third party situation. That's not going to be for everybody, but it's kind of a vibe I'm getting right off this card, all right? Tell me what the energy of Aquarius is. Well, Okay, so you keep getting two cards. Maybe I should have kept that other one. Anyway, Spirit is still let us know what's happening. Your energy, chemistry, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And then you also have engagement, you know, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Aqua, look at that. A lot of togetherness. We're talking about duality, okay? I was expecting some twin flamish shit to come out. And that, this here, okay, is quite literally the definition of some twin flame shit. To get two cards, all right? But anyway, we're going to leave it at that. Um, to be honest with you, with chemistry being here, it's loud and clear, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate. You're dealing with a twin flame. This gave me a very giddy energy uh, versus this card, okay? This pay attention to the red flags and then healing family issues coming out. So I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be moving away from a situation and into another. Now, um, those of you that are new, you're not going to know the backstory to why my channel is even called Unveiled. But um, those of you that have been here know that for me, like my purpose is to lift illusions. OK, that is why I have these gifts. I uh, know that spirit has showed me <laughs> um, in numerous ways over my own life, but in numerous ways over um, also my experiences of giving personal readings to others. 
that I am here to help people lift illusions off of their life. And when I'm looking at this card, pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> this is looking like you, Aqua. Lifting the illusion. Okay? To some shit. But um, what's interesting is that this energy in this card or this particular woman in this card, she's looking at a situation that's behind her, okay, regardless of gender. And um, interestingly enough, you have like this deity, this spirit or whatever the case may be. Now, no disrespect to the divine, but I'm also looking like it's also it, like in this energy, I'm looking at you looking at something that's dead. OK, it's very much so just like there's a remnant of it left. There's a memory. There's some lingering energy, lingering spirits, that sort of thing. I definitely would encourage you all to cleanse, especially if you're in the process of moving to a better situation towards a better partner, towards a better relationship um, in February. But also to just through throughout throughout the rest of this year, um, there are some ties that need to be severed um before you can do so okay and that's also an energy that i constantly get off of that healing family issues it's about breaking generational curses it's about severing and separating yourself from things that you may have inherited from the past okay the other energy that's interesting okay we did just have chinese new year Okay, um, and Chinese, I mean, the new year is not, they call it Chinese new year, but it's not just specific to ch the Chinese, the Vietnamese celebrate it, um, the Peruvian people celebrate it, that, you know, February is um, a time of beginning for a lot of cultures, and that is what I'm getting here. It's, you know, kind of like this, January gave you an opportunity to lift the veil and see through a particular situation so that you can start anew. OK, with something that is very, very divine. Y'all hear them omens? I love it. This is a really beautiful energy, Aqua. Um, and I'm sorry, I can't even. They like if you don't get that card back out here. I'm OK, spirit. Look, let me get the card. OK, so we have healing family issues back out here for the partner, for the past influence. OK. Ugh. It, it, yeah. There is a need to separate because I'm even feeling I'm like, whoa, let me move. Let me move this shit over. Ew. There's something going on with the past person or somebody who you're currently separating from. OK, but let's see. Um, what's the solidity of these energies? Spirit, the duality of these two energies. What's going on here with Aquarius? Wow. <laughs> oh, OK. Twelve house. All right. Now I'm focusing on the second house, but you've got one and two here. Now, the 12th house is about surrendering. OK, it's about your subconscious mind. It's about compassion. That was the external energy for this situation, having compassion, but also the external energy for um, the situation that you're moving into. I feel like it's it's very much so passion driven, passion influence. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. OK, Um Aries Leo Sag, I'm also getting a, a watery vibe. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, but when I give those signs, it could be any placement in their chart. So they could be a fire sign, but they could be a water sign, Venus, whatever the case may be, this could also apply to you. Um, but the 12th house is also about karma. Okay, and um, oddly enough, I mean, I talked in the beginning of this video about Saturn moving home to Capricorn. Um, Saturn rules karma. It, it rules discipline, um, structure, okay, foundations, that sort of thing. So I definitely feel like this is a very, very strong alignment um, with the external energies that are going around, um, the transits of the planets, things of that nature. Things are changing around you. Um, with 12th house being here, defining the solidity the duality of the situation that you're in what you're being asked to do right now what you're being asked to do especially in february moving out of january and into february you're being asked to surrender okay to give some level of trust to the divine okay to give some to allow some level of forgiveness too about this situation that you just moved past in order for you to heal and make space for the beauty of what is to come OK, um, there's an energy of like guilt that I'm getting off of this side over here. And there's an energy of like um, 
what is it? it's it's it is abundance but it's more it's like feeling just like chosen blessed that sort of thing like whoever it is that you're moving towards whatever situation you're moving towards and some of you guys may not even be aware of what divine is you know planning for you with this chemistry here with engagement but there's someone who you quite literally you you're a match with there's a lot of there's a lot of people there's a lot of chaos a lot of collusion and stuff that's going on in this situation that you're moving past okay um but yes the way that you're going to solidify this energy to get to this energy this chemistry with engagement here very beautiful is surrendering forgiving all right let's see um tell me what the past influences are of this situation spirit with the partner interesting you have the lovers okay and you have the emperor here and um interesting bottom of the deck here you have leo okay the lover um there i i definitely feel like a lot of you guys could be in a third party situation but i don't feel like it's like the technical term of third party like cheating on somebody or being married or in some of you guys this may apply but i'm going to tell I'm, this is for the collective so i'm going to tell you what the strongest energy is for the collective this is more so an energy of like you're in a relationship or you were in a relationship with someone okay because some of you guys are ahead of the energy some of you guys are ahead of the energy um or i'm sorry behind the energy but this is a situation where like you were you've been in a relationship committed to someone or you could have children with someone that sort of thing and you kind of knew that things were on a shaky foundation you were just kind of waiting for the foundation to fall apart you were waiting on that tower mo moment you some of you guys were suspicious of some sort of uh deceit or whatever the case may be um and it was just a, a basically you knowing or tapping into it intuitively Aquarius is very smart very logical okay so there could be some things that logically were not adding up or matching what this person was expressing to you okay with lover being here on the bottom of the deck somebody's words were not lining up or matching up with their actions okay and that's that's what i'm getting off of this pay attention to the red flags and healing family issues okay but you were in some sort of relationship and some of you guys may have started to kind of like hang out with your friends you know kind of detach yourself spiritually mentally emotionally from the situation even though you were still physically present in a situation when i'm looking at lovers here with the mirrors i definitely feel like you were you're still either you were still or you are still physically involved with this person physically seeing this person okay but there's some level of elevation or um separation that has come on the emotional uh physical i'm sorry spiritual emotional level okay and with the emperor here i feel like this is you bringing things into an alignment on a physical level that is what the second house is about it's about material gains values expressions aesthetics things that you see it's something that you were feeling and now you see it okay i think that some of you guys were in a relationship with someone and you could have started hanging out with your friends a friend may have brought another friend somewhere you could have met this person um and it was kind of like you know casual because i do feel a level of loyalty too Okay, Aquarius, that either you have been loyal to someone, vice versa for the cross watcher. Okay, you could have been loyal to Aquarius. And so you met this person, you met this third party, um, and it evoked some sort of like spiritual discomfort, um, like an emotional disruption, okay, is what this person caused in the situation that you were already waiting to, you were waiting for it to fall apart okay um with the emperor here and the lovers here this is de like honestly some of you guys are having to choose between surrendering to what's going on in your family in your household etc and choosing love true love might i add okay new love might i add there's something very new and very fresh about this situation that you are trying to get to that you're trying to come in some level of alignment to receive that you're trying to surrender to okay okay Aquarius I'm sorry about that but um I was gonna restart the video but I just can't <clears throat> the energy just lit <clears throat> right here okay so anyway I ran out of data I'm sorry about that anyway 
Um, I think that what I was saying is I feel like some third party came along, okay, in this situation, and um, it made you take a closer look at who it is that you're dealing with or who that person has influenced you to be, okay? And so now, in the month of February, with all of these planetary shifts, okay, with the eclipse energy... The, the okay, oh. look, Aqua. <laughs> This is probably going to look like so different from the first part of this reading. <clears throat> but I absolutely refuse to like start your reading over. And I keep getting technically um, interrupted. So I'm no longer recording on my phone, which I probably should have done a long time ago because there's no, like, no storage. So I had to get the iPad. So I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm going to be using this. I don't like... I need to learn how to even focus on the camera way over here since I'm on a bigger thing. Anyway, um, so let's just really back just a little bit, okay? Because the energy clearly is very intense. I kind of feel like Aquarius, you may be dealing with someone who's very combative. Um, you may be experiencing like several interruptions as you're trying to move forward, you know, towards this new beginning, okay? This chemistry with engagement here. Okay, if this is not something um, that you've been experiencing thus far, come February or come after February, you are going to be experiencing several interruptions, um, some disruptive energy while you try to move into the power, okay, of the emperor, okay? You're definitely going to have to choose and you're being asked to surrender, Okay, because I think that up until this point, you maybe have not had the level of power that you wanted to have to choose wisely about this situation. And there's a, an energy of kind of stepping back, reeling back your power, praying about the situation, being in more of a uh, receptive waiting type energy versus taking action towards something. Okay, now bottom of the deck you have the queen of swords with the three of wands and like i said there's an energy of like definitely still taking a stance on something but you're not really communicating it's like your silence right now in this moment is so much more powerful than the action that you could take while you're looking into something while you're waiting for the perfect opportunity to move towards this new beginning Okay, now whatever third party situation I feel like was going on in the past, I'm just not even going to say anything else about that energy because it's disruptive as fuck, okay? And um, I have a feeling that you're going to end up just cutting something off, cutting something out, just done with it. It's a wrap, okay? Um, so let's move towards chemistry and engagement here, all right? Let's find out what's going on with chemistry and engagement in here. Okay, got the Queen of Cups. Tell me one more thing about this situation. Yeah. So, Queen of Cups with the Seven of Swords, okay? So, like I told you, there's something very fucking disruptive over here. For some of you guys, it could be the mother of your children. It could be your mother, okay? It could just be a motherly type figure. Like, someone who's uh, very caring, someone who is very... Um, compassionate that sort of thing very receptive that 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 type of situation um and this person okay right now i think is seeing you to be just a bit kind of sneaky or mysterious and it's just more so because this person doesn't really understand what's going on behind you um tell me how how what's the energy of the seven of swords here spirit yeah the knight of cups so like i said it's this person may have given you some type of love offer, some type of gesture, that type of thing. And I think you had to put it on pause or you had to put it at a distance. Like I said, there's something about your silence right now that is extremely, extremely powerful for what it is that you're trying to accomplish, okay, in surrendering to this new beginning. Oh, how interesting. The angels are shaped like a heart, okay? And we're moving into Valentine's Day. Um, but there's something powerful about your silence, but it's also making this person uncomfortable, okay? With the Seven of Swords being clarified by the Knight of Cups, it's kind of like this person maybe, they they might know that they're a third party, um, 
they definitely know that you're on guard because of some sort of like lie deception some sort of truth that just has not surfaced or come out some of you guys are ahead of the energy the truth of this situation definitely has surfaced with the three parties here some level of communication that has come out okay and in the meantime aquarius vice versa for the cross watcher just be very mindful of your thoughts and what it is that you want okay make sure that your thoughts are in alignment with what your heart desires okay that's also the energy i'm getting here because it's like that with this paid or with this night energy here it's it's like there's something diminishing about the original offer about the original emotional connection something about it losing its power okay um and i feel like this is because there is maybe like an over exertion of thought um where your heart may already know the answer to a situation i mean you have chemistry and engagement here there's definitely something that you know about a person okay no that you know about a relationship or a situation ship um, that you want it to go to another level, but you haven't expressed this yet, okay? Tell me how the Queen of Cups would view the Emperor here with the Lover's Spirit. How would the Queen of Cups view the Emperor with the Lover's here? Interesting. See, okay. The Chariot came out here, right? But it's almost sitting like right at the edge of this situation. And then the Ten of Pentacles came out, but it fell on this side. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be someone who has Gemini in their chart as well. Um, they could have Aries in their ascendant, Gemini, Cancer in their ascendant sign or sun sign. Okay, they could also have Virgo or Pisces or Cancer. Um, or a, you could have Aquarius in your moon. You could be watching this for your moon sign. <clears throat> but how this person views the emperor with the lovers here, okay? With the chariot and the ten of pentacles coming out, this person, I think, knows intuitively that you're going to be making a move towards them. If you've been quiet about it, they intuitively know. You're dealing with someone who is highly, highly intuitive, okay? And so I also want to go back to like this seven of swords knight of cups energy like if you are in some level of a third party situation there's something that you're trying to close out clean up finish up i probably would communicate that at this point to this person you know and spare the details you know what i mean there, there's no need for you to just like put it all out in the open but i definitely would give this person some sort of confidence or reassurance is the word that i'm hearing there's some level of reassurance that is needed about this situation or there's going to be a loss of an opportunity on something that is very very divine with chemistry and engagement here okay with the chariot i feel like they know that you're going to be moving away from one lover and into or towards a more stable situation with them okay and this is what they're hoping for or manifesting okay um bottom of the deck yeah you have three of pentacles here like i said there's definitely a high high vibration of third party energy there's a very high vibration of family energy here okay three of pentacles with the ten of pentacles external energy is there is a need to work with someone to get the outcome that it is that you deserve the three of pentacles is also about um it, like reformation okay reforming some type of collaboration that sort of thing okay um what are what are the hidden factors of this situation for aquarius spirit what are the hidden factors okay so you have the tower that's falling on the queen of cups and like i told you that's crazy because the Queen of Cups with the Tower, that is like literally some level of an emotional disruption, okay? Um, yeah, bottom of the deck, you have Strength here. Top of the deck, you have the Fool. There's a need for you to go ahead and take a leap of faith towards this person. Take a leap of faith and um, communicate. I kind of feel like if you do hold on to this, um, 
this vibe, this knowing that you want to move towards this person. If you hold on it too, too long, um, Aquarius, you're going to get to a point where there's going to be some level of an emotional ev like eruption. Okay, with the Seven of Swords here. It's kind of just like a, a vomiting of the truth. Um, where I think that right now you do have some level of control or that's what you need to focus on. Some level of control and expressing what it is that's going on with this situation. How would Aquarius view the tower? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Releasing of burdens, like I said. This situation that's from the past was definitely built on some sort of faulty uh foundation it could have been built on sex passion intimacy that type of thing could be why there is a um healing family issue type of vibration here with the queen of cups okay definitely there could be children that are involved with this situation um maybe ch children that were even unplanned i'm sorry but that's not going to apply to everybody but that's a vibe that i'm getting here why the ten of wands is here with the queen of cups and the ten of pentacles in the tower it's like there's there's something that's very unstable about this family situation that you're currently in and it's keeping you from the person that you truly desire the lover possibly a fire sign or a fixed sign even okay um tell me how this queen of cups would view the tower spirit heavy hitter yep ace of wands coming out as an issue Hmm. Okay, we all adults here. The wand, to me, is is what it is. It's, you know what I mean? This is an issue, okay? So there could have been some sort of secrecy, some sort of uh, pregnancy that came about. Yeah, you look, you have the page of wands with temperance here, okay? You could be giving birth to a fire sign okay let me see what where are we um aquarius pisces and then we're gonna go to aries okay so could be that you are um planning to conceive a child give birth or something of that nature i could be foreseeing this guys some of you guys could be involved in a third party situation right now and you need to be careful because i'm kind of seeing the con a, like a child being conceived either conceived or born in the next two to three months yeah like when it starts to get hotter around here that's what i'm seeing for some of you guys yeah the page of wands it's definitely like kind of a child energy okay this could have something to do with a sagittarius in specific you have the ten of wands here you have temperance here with the page of wands okay Yeah, but the Ace of Wands coming out as an issue. Well, you have a child here holding this this wand. Um, and this is how the mother, the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy or whatever, Cancer, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that is how this water sign is viewing this tower. It's, it's some sort of breakdown because of a child, because of pregnancy, because of some sort of move that was made in the wrong direction. All right. Um, how is this going to be affecting Aquarius worth or value? Wow. Five of Pentacles, guys. Five of Pentacles. Definitely this could have something to do um, with the family being broken apart. You're going from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles. You could be changing your value of family. You could be changing like your value of um. This is this is heavy, Aquarius. Um, there's surrender to this change, okay? This is something that is really big, really major that is changing in your life. It's changing your family dynamic. It's changing the way that you even value relationships in family. Period. Love. Period. This is changing the way that you even have dreamed in the past of seeing your life. Something's changed. Somebody's changed it. Okay, tell me uh, how would Aquarius view the five of pentacles, the four of pentacles, deciding to hold back from a situation. The five and the four of pentacles here is a nine of pentacles. It is a level of regression from the ten of pentacles, some sort of stable foundation breaking down. But we already see that here. Okay, but this is you being very comfortable um, in the loss um, that you're about to experience. And it is manifested here in the 3d. Okay. For those of you that were wondering if this is something that I'm reading on a spiritual level, 
No. This is something that I'm reading on a physical level. Okay, with the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Some of you guys, it could be finances that you end up losing, but I'm definitely feeling more of some sort of connection with family being lost here. Okay, the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles is also like the nine of pentacles to me. It is a single energy for one. Um, number two, the it is a pre-empress energy. Okay, so the pre-empress is pregnant and it's because it's before she becomes the mother, which is the queen of cups here. With the page of wands being an issue, okay? Um, yeah, this could be you walking away from someone who might be pregnant. Or you being pregnant and walking away from whoever the father is um, of this child. Uh, the four of pentacles also too. Now, this is a feminine energy here, but typically... Um, and you know like the traditional tarot this is a man and um he's also what i i like to call he's like the bootleg version of the emperor the bootleg version of the father okay but i also feel an energy of some sort of like demotion so this could be someone who was married this could have been your husband could have been someone who you saw to be your husband vice versa okay because gender does not live here um, when we're talking about energy, when we're talking about tarot, this could have even been um, a situation where there was a loss of a child. Someone who may be, was about to be, like, become a father, become, have some sort of level of authority or whatever. For a pinnacle, somebody's finding a lot of peace in the fact that this didn't end up working out. Anyway, let's move along. What's the outcome in love? Okay. Yeah, you got the nine of wands here in reverse. This is falling on the four of pentacles. Yeah. Like I said, this is, it's kind of like a backwards energy. Like the nine of wands is like wounded warrior. It's about putting up some level of a barrier. Okay. And as you can see in this energy, he has a wand and he's putting something on it. It's an energy of pregnancy to me. That I'm picking up off of this card but it's in reverse so this is like either you know like something went wrong with a pregnancy aqua or will go wrong with a pregnancy aqua okay and for those of you that are watching here for the um yeah for the cross watchers like look at this you have five of swords and then you have the ten of swords here this is the mi minor arcana to death but the fact that I have blood in these cards, I definitely feel like there's some level. Th this has to do with DNA. This is really, really heavy. Um, it's not going to be for everyone. And Aries could be of some sort of significance in this situation. You definitely could be making plans or preparations to block someone. Aquarius. Because there's a disruptive ass energy around you. I'm not even going to lie. I can't even focus on love. And I feel like that's what you're dealing with in the month of February. It's like you know who your forever partner is. You know who you want to move towards. You know where love lies. And you can't even move towards that situation until this is completely uprooted, disrupted, cleaned up. Like, totally. Okay? With the Ten of Swords being here, the Minor Arcana to death, I definitely feel like in February you're going to start to transform this situation or it will start to transform on its own. Everything is doubling up here, but it's in a regressive energy. You have the Ten of Pentacles to the Five. You have the Ten of Swords to the Five of Swords. There's, there's some sort of loss that you're going to experience and you need to surrender to it. All right? Um, what is, let's get you some advice, because this is, I just can't believe how disruptive this energy has been. I'm going to have to stitch these videos together from my phone to my iPad. Like, there's some disruptive ass energy around you. What's the advice in the month of February for Aquarius? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pis Pisces. Guess what? Today, the moon is quite literally in Pisces. Bottom of the deck, you have expect powerful change. New moon and eclipse. Literally, this is a new moon energy in Pisces. Okay? So definitely um, 
cleanse, okay? Clean, clean your house. Go vacuum out your car. You know what I mean? Like wash your hair, do, do what you gotta do, but there's a level of cleansing that needs to happen and there's a level of surrendering that needs to happen. Aquarius, that is your reading. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry that it's so long. I'm sorry that it's so disruptive, but I'm just the reader, okay? I just wanna let you know that moving out of February or the, the quicker that you get this situation in order, the quicker, okay? You're going to you're going to experience some level of togetherness. I don't want you to forget that you have chemistry and engagement here. Something very beautiful is going to come of this situation. But I almost can't even move into it. Like, if you want to find out more about this situation, I definitely would in, encourage you to get a personal reading because spirit is not even allowing me to look into this situation because they they are yelling, "Clean this up!" All right, bye.